Eric Charlotte not going to go down without a fight in that one. They had 30 points there in the fourth quarter. But talk about the defense that you guys got in terms of the rebounds, the steals, all the hustle plays down the stretch to get this one done. Uh, you know, we really have to come together as a team, um, stay focused uh, throughout the entire game. Um, in the first half, we were just sluggish. I don't know if it was because of Thanksgiving, or I don't know. <laughs> but um, we just wasn't ourselves in the first half. In the second half, we woke up and um, guys were just following and um, playing off other guys' energy, and we found a way to win. How did you find another gear tonight? I mean, it, like you said, in the first half, you were one for four, I believe, and then the way you were able to turn it on when it counted down the stretch. So I'm just trying to read everything, read the game, um, read how they plan me. Um, don't worry about the shots that I miss and um, just play the way that I normally know how to play. And tonight, um, Pete guys were getting wide open shots. They just wasn't falling tonight and it made the game tough. But um, um, the shots that we were missing, they were wide open. So you can't um, be mad at that. What did you see from Melo tonight? Um, Melo is Melo, man. You know, I said that same thing about KP. We know what they're going to do. They're going to produce. They're going to play hard. Um, they can really score the ball. And um, the guys around them just got to find a way to play around them and get them the ball. That ISO at the end of regulation. Looks like you went right back to the same thing at the end of overtime. Yeah, um, you, you're trying to go to a mismatch, or you're trying to make them double team, or when you got a guy like that, yeah, you force a double team, so you're making them scramble around. And we was getting the ball to Mello, and um, he made some great passes at the end too to keep us um, close in the game to Billy, and Billy was able to finish them. So with him passing like that, and um, the way he could score the ball, yeah, um, he's very dangerous. You know, offensively, uh, for me, it wasn't the best game, and and uh, you know, I was able to get those a couple of important blocks at the end and and uh, get the crowd going. I mean, the, that was a momentum swing kind of, and and uh, Melo was you know, making his shots and and being himself, and uh, you know, he he kind of carried us through the game, and and uh, Dero the same thing, and um, you know, I'm happy that I was able to make those a couple of important plays at the end. And for you, when you're going into a back-to-back -back situation against the same team, like you said, you were in foul trouble tonight, some of your shots not falling early, but you also hit some big shots down the stretch. How important is that, knowing you're playing the same team tomorrow night? Yeah, it's huge. It's huge. They're, they're as tired as we are going into the overtime and everything, so uh, they're going to come and, and, and try, to, try to get a win tomorrow, and we're going to try to get another, another win against them. It's going to be a war out there tomorrow, same thing, and, and we got to get as much rest as we can and come out ready tomorrow. Overtime, first one this year, but how is the approach different now that you've got so many more weapons out there when, when you're looking at those overtime minutes? I think this game is an example of how much talent we have, you know, getting you know, the ball to Melo and hitting a, hitting a couple of or, or three uh, big shots and D-Rose creating, uh, getting to the basket, hitting important shots. I hit the three from the corner. Just everybody, everybody can make big plays and, and, uh, and we, just, we just have that, that type of talent to win, win important games at the end. Those blocks and, and you heard that crowd. What was going through your head? Unbelievable. I mean, oh my God. It was. I think it's one one of the loudest games I've ever been in. Um, they're usually very loud, but today, like every play was just like because the score was so tight and the fans were into it. It was unbelievable. I mean, it was like getting goosebumps after every play. You know, it was unbelievable.